call Park. You could park a call to an extension. I think we had talked a little bit about Park in the users, perhaps not. Um, but parking a call, if I want to transfer a call to someone, I have to know where I'm sending that call. I have to know where that call is going. person has to be at their desk. I transfer it to their desk, and they can pick up that call. But maybe I have to get a call to someone, but I don't know where they are. I know they're in the building, but I don't know where. So someone calls in and says, hey, I want Tony. And I look around, I don't see Tony at his desk, so I would park that call. I park it at my phone, and I park it to Tony's extension. We always park a call to a real person's extension. It can't be just random numbers. And I tend to park it to the person who it's for. Now, it doesn't do anything to that user's extension. It basically just sits out there waiting in orbit on the network for someone to pick it up. So I park the call to Tony's extension. I hit park on my phone, dial his extension, and then I hit enter. It tells me, your call has been parked. So I can find Tony, and I can say, hey, I've got a call for you on your line. Tony can go to any phone. He can hit retrieve key, type in his extension, and hit enter, and he's got that call. If for some reason Tony's unable to retrieve that call before the timer expires, the call's going to come back to me, and I'm going to see recall in the front of the caller ID telling me that was the parked person coming back to me. And I can treat it like a new call and transfer it, send it to someone's voicemail, put it on park again, and so on. The timer is set as the recall timer and the ultimate recall timer. It's usually set to a few minutes. It uh, depends on how big your building is and how long you think you need to have people retrieve their calls. Generally, I recommend at least a couple of minutes. You don't have to use all the time, but it is available for you if you do need it.